Hello everybody. Today is Thursday. It is August the 5th and we're currently on day 27 of revealing your inner rock star here at Raw Food Rehab. And this week we've really been focusing in on the importance of keeping your diet juicy. And Monday and Tuesday we talked about juicing and we just sort of uncovered a little, a few little facts. I mean there's so much that we could talk about when it comes to juicing. Uh, we could probably talk about juicing for a solid week if we wanted to or longer, but I shared just some basic videos with you that are uh, I consider to be very informative and helpful, and hopefully that inspired you guys, if you already own a juicer, to get your juicer out, dust it off, and get back to the practice of juicing on a regular basis. And even if you don't have a juicer, you might have a blender, and juicing is very healing to your body because your body doesn't have to work hard to extract the fiber from the nutrient dense food. So if you're compromised, if your health is not good, your digestive tract is taxed because of a variety of reasons, juicing is a, a wonderful beginning spot for people who are struggling with their health and weight loss. It's instant nutrition going into your bloodstream, basically. Um, I started my personal juicing, my interest in juicing, I should say, at about the age of 19. I ended up meeting a friend who kind of was into juicing. Her mother had been really into juicing. And so I ended up buying my first juicer at a garage sale. It was a champion juicer, it's the old centrifugal force champion juicer. And I also picked up a copy, it was at a used bookstore, of Norman Walker's one of his books on juicing. And so that's when I became fascinated with juicing and all my other friends were like totally down with Burger King, McDonald's, the Taco Mayo drive-through. I mean everybody was eating junk food and here was me, you know. I've always kind of been the bizarro friend in my group that I hung out with, but it's because I struggled so much with irritable bowel syndrome allergy-induced asthma episodes, I had chronic fatigue syndrome. So, I mean, at 19, I was more motivated than all my other friends who weren't having health challenges to try to get answers because med the medical community hadn't really been able to give me answers. So, I'm a big fan of juicing and have been for years. Well, you know, I had been into raw foods probably for a couple of years before I got enlightened to this whole green smoothie phenomenon. You know, I, I'd never thought about green smoothies. I didn't even know, I didn't even, it wasn't on my radar screen. And so somebody suggested Green for Life, the book by Victoria Botenko, which we covered yesterday. And I gave you links if you're interested in that book. I highly recommend that you get that book. And, and I don't often tell you to buy a book. Um, and I'm not going to tell you to buy Green for Life, but I am going to tell you that a uh, Penny Shelton recommendation is for you to read that book. Get your hands on a copy. You need to have read it. Um, if you're interested in, in health at all, then you need to read it. You, many libraries have it. If your library doesn't have it, you can put in a request for it. And through the interlibrary loan system, you'll at some point get on that rotation and get a copy of it to read if, if you can't afford to buy one. So that was my plug for that again today. But anyway, so I read this book, right? And I'm just like going, well, that makes more sense than just about anything else I have ever read. Makes so much sense. And so I loved the part in the back of the book where she takes just these normal, ordinary, average people like you and I, and she just doesn't tell them to change their diet or their lifestyle. She just says, hey, will you drink these smoothies every day? And I can't remember now exactly how much they were drinking. It was like maybe a couple of quarts, maybe it was one quart, I don't know exactly how much they were drinking. but. Over the period of one month's time, these people had some really impressive results. And maybe some of them didn't change one other thing, but people were dropping, they were dropping weight, their cholesterol amounts were going down, uh, they were sleeping better, maybe their libido was increased. I mean, the list was just very extensive of all the different health benefits of drinking green smoothies. So I started drinking them. And I, I, I mean, I'm sold. I'm sold. And sometimes I get tired of drinking them or sometimes I get tired of juicing. 
But it's okay because the great thing is, is that you can do both very successfully. And whenever you're able to, if you're trying to lose weight, if you can actually substitute a green juice or a green smoothie for a meal, I mean, that's just going to really help you. It's going to help your body cleanse and detoxify. It's going to help you drop weight. I mean, um, some people have reported that when they start drinking green smoothies, they get a little bit of, my girls call it the Hershey squirts. They get a little bit of loose stools, sometimes more than a little bit. And uh, I've had people write to me about, it's like, what's going on with that? Well, first of all, when you up your intake of leafy greens, kale, spinach, Swiss chard, collard greens, all those, um, there's a high level of magnesium in, in greens, which is awesome. And our bodies are crying out for magnesium. Typically, if we've been eating junk our whole life, we're mineral deficient. So when you start adding those minerals back in, um, it's not uncommon for you to get a little bit of um, a cleansing effect. We'll just call it a cleansing effect. And um, so, you know, that might happen at first, but typically after a little while, that's going to, you know, stabilize and you're not going to have problems with that moving forward. But, I mean, if people are struggling with constipation, hey, get more greens in your diet. Apples, pears, spinach, kale, juicing or blending in green smoothies, it's it's a great laxative, I'll just say. So, you know, green smoothies. I have been drinking green smoothies yesterday and today. Mm. I was planning on juicing all week, actually, but I broke the extractor. I don't know what the name of the actual piece is that goes onto my Mega Juicer. And I won't go into the details of how I cracked it, but I cracked it because I was cramming a plunger down in it, trying to get my greens down in it that wasn't, it, it was the handle of my mallet that I used to smash my lemongrass and wood shouldn't go down in your juicer. And so a piece of it cracked off and it cracked my extractor mesh cartridge. So I don't think I'm going to have to buy a new juicer. I think I'm going to be able to get that place, that piece replaced. I'm praying. I don't really uh, have the funding to buy a brand new juicer right now. But anyway, so switched up the routine immediately when that happened. And I am doing green smoothies right now. And I like to make them really interesting. I don't just use water. Sometimes I'll use some different kinds of herbal teas as a base. Uh, lemongrass water is one that I've shared. Um, orange juice I love to use. Sometimes I'll use a nut milk um, just to make it more creamy. Uh, there's just so many different varieties that you can use and I've just enjoyed them all. I really do. And I like to switch it up. Definitely switch up your greens. Don't just use spinach all the time. Use kale, Swiss chard, collard greens, parsley, cilantro, any leafy green really works well with fruit blended. Um, I like my fruit frozen sometimes, especially because in Oklahoma it's been over 100 degrees every single day for a couple of weeks. So right now I'm, I'm chilling it down a little bit. So um, green smoothies, you can't go wrong. If you have a blender, you can make it happen and you can start impacting your health and your weight loss today. I'm encouraging you, study more about green smoothies. Get Green for Life by Victoria Butenko. And underneath this video, I am sharing with you a, a very touching story of a man who is able to lose over 200 pounds by incorporating green smoothies into his daily program. So I want you to listen to what Clint Manich has to say about green smoothies. I love you guys. I'll be back tomorrow for another episode of Foodie Friday. We're going to be getting our juice and our smoothies on. I'll see you then. Bye.